Okay, welcome everybody to the Fort Worth Downtown Neighborhood Water and Sewer Improvements Design Meeting. I'm Sally Ellerson and I do project communications for the Fort Worth Water Department's Capital Delivery. This is, um, if you can see the screen, the, please post your questions in the chat. Look at the bottom right hand of your screen. You can put your questions in there, let Leon get through his presentation and then we will go to chat, take those questions. If you're a call on user, we'll take your questions following the chat questions. This is being recorded and I'm going to hand this over to Leon Wilson, who is the project manager on this project. Leon? Thank you, Sally. Um, as Sally mentioned, this is the Fort Worth Downtown Neighborhood Water and Sewer Improvements Design Meeting, City Project Number 102780. My name is Leon Wilson, and I'm the project manager of the Water Department. Uh, so for today's agenda, we have introductions, a project overview, um, show you the project area, and go over some frequently asked questions for the project. So once again, my name is Leon Wilson. Um, my phone number is 817-392-2387. My email is leon.wilson at fortworthtexas.gov. Our engineer and design consultant is Donaway and Associates, and the project manager for Donaway is Brian Sheriff. Howdy. Thank you, Brian. So this, this exhibit shows the, the several streets that are on the project, um, you know, south and north side. The basic areas, the project overview, excuse me, is existing water and sewer mains will be replaced in an area south of East Northside Drive, west of Cold Springs Road and Union Pacific Railroad, north of East Belknap Street and east of the West Fork Trinity River. This project is in City Council District 9 and impacts the Fort Worth Downtown Neighborhood Alliance. So I go through several, several slides which show the uh, various streets included on the project. And on this slide, you see it's Northeast 14th Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue, uh, which will include water and sewer improvements. Northeast 13th Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue includes water and sewer as well. Woods Avenue from East Northside Drive to 13th Street to sewer. Northeast 12th Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue is water and sewer. Northeast 11th Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue is water and sewer. Uh, the next section is the easement. Um, it's the easement south of North Park Drive from Samuels Avenue to Trinity River. If you see the exhibit, it goes through a uh, private property under the parking lot. That improvement um, will not be open cut. It will be made from the interior of the pipe. Um, so um, just for anyone who's wondering, that area shown there will um, be made from the inside of the pipe um, as far as the improvements. The next area is Pavilion Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue, which is water to sewer. Woods Avenue from Pavilion Street to Greer Street, which is sewer. Greer Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue, water and sewer. Samuels Avenue from Greer Street to approximately 177 feet north of Mayfield Street, sewer, and Mayfield Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue, water and sewer. And the um, final project area is Mayfield Street from Samuels Avenue to Woods Avenue, which is water and sewer, Deer Lake Street from Cold Springs Road to the Northern Dead Ends, whose water, there's an easement between Mayfield Street and Cold Springs Road from Clear Lake Street to Woods Avenue, which is sewer. Garber Street from Cold Springs Road to Eastern Dead End, water and sewer. And the easement east of Northampton Street from Peach Street to East Belknap Street is sewer. So why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data 
which includes uh, the water main break history, leak history, CCTV, which is closed circuit TV inspection, age of the line, the line of material, and whether there are less services. In this instance, the project was created to replace deteriorated sanitary sewer mains and water mains. So do you replace the water line up to my house? We replaced the city owned service water meter in the meter box um, and also it includes street repair. So generally the, the water line is in the street and from there, there is a smaller service line from the water line that goes to the meter, which is usually on the frontage of your property. And then that goes into your home. So we will replace the line in the street on the streets that have water improvements, the service from the line to the meter and the water meter itself. Will you need an access? Do we need to access our property? If an easement is needed, you should have been or will be notified. Um, if, if your property is one that requires access, the contractor will provide a right of entry letter to the property owner and then upon approval, the contractor will access, will access the property. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service would not be interrupted. The new sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. Uh, the sewer cleanout provides crews and easy access if a backup or blockage occurs um, in the service line. Will our water be turned off? Uh, the water be turned off for approximately 15, 30 minutes um, when the service is transferred from the existing line, the line is being replaced to a temporary line. Um, and when the service is transferred, it'll be cut off again when it's transferred from the temporary line to the new line. And the photo kind of shows an example of a temporary line. They're above ground, it's temporary just to allow us to Reconstruct the uh, water line of usually in the street and maintain water service to the various properties. How does the temporary line in, impact my home and water bill? Temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction, as I uh, just mentioned. Water must continually, excuse me, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line, which is above ground. During the winter months to keep the line from freezing, customers should also keep their faucets dripping. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on a temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage um, for that particular meter. So what happens if my property is damaged? The contractor would take pictures and video of the property before the construction begins. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction starts. The contractor will restore the property to its original condition if there's any damage or, um, you know, if the construction has caused um, any issues on your property. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap the irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will replace the cap to damaged irrigation systems um, before the construction is completed. So a basic timeline is mentioned. This is the design meeting. Um, so we're still in the process of designing the project. But the next step, the next steps include advertising uh, the project for bids for construction, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, a pre-construction meeting with the contractor and inspector, a WebEx community construction meeting to up those impacted by the project, similar to this meeting, and a construction start. And right now we're planning to start construction on this project by mid to late spring of next year, 2022. So where can you get more information? The progress will be updated on the city of Fort Worth website um, at the website shown on the link on the screen. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number 102780 in the search bar on the homepage and it should pull up this project. 
the link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page as well. Again, my name is Leon Wilson. Uh, my number is 817-392-2387. Leon.Wilson at FortworthTexas.gov. Uh, some additional information on um, reporting emergencies and non-emergencies. Uh, for water main breaks, sewer backups, 24 hours a day, you can call 817-392-4477 and select option one. Uh, the water call center for non-emergency operates between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. It's the same number, 817-392-4477, and it's closed uh, during city holidays. But the emergency number is available 24 hours a day. You can download the My Fourth app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water surface, water pressure issues, and any other sewer concerns at the My Fort Worth app. So that concludes my uh, presentation. And I think, Sally, I saw several chat questions pop up. Could you read those? We can yes, Donna this. Anderson has two. Her first is, are we talking water interruptions for the properties in Samuels Avenue? And if so, how long? Well, the water interruption to set up the temporary is 30, approximately 30 minutes. So that section of Samuels approximately between Greer and Mayfield. Yes, if they're uh, receiving service from that water line, uh, there will be a temporary interruption to set up the temporary uh, water service during construction. Okay, her second question is, when water is turned off to reconstruct, how much notice will, be, will we be give, will we be able to give our tenants? When it's turned so off? An apartment, uh, I'm sorry, when water is turned off to reconstruct, how much notice will we be able to give our tenants? Donna, you may want to elaborate. This is a apartment complex or it's a 40 generally it's a 48 hour notice um before the water service is interrupted um to to, to turn off the water okay so i just want to um just confirm so you're going to give um the properties not just mine that are in that little area um 48 48 hours notice that this is going to um, take place, correct? 48 hours before you so the, cut off service. So the, yes, the contractor, when when he is ready and at that point, will give the citizens in that area that would be affected a 48 hour notice. And I think it's usually a door hanger which states that um, when that shut off will, will be. Okay, so is, when you say that there's a door notice, are you going to be individually hand delivering those door notices to all, let's say my units 272? Well, apartments, this... I'm, I'm not sure if apartments, I'd have to check on that, Donna. Um, I know for the most part, because a lot of times we deal with you know, single residents, single family homes. With the apartment complexes, well, we won't be going to every unit. We probably will coordinate with your office. Correct. Correct. I mean, and, and that's how it needs to be. I'm just trying to make sure that we have enough ample time, especially if it's a pre-planned um, event that we're going to be doing. Requirement by the Texas Apartment Association is that we give them 48-hour notice of any intent. So yeah, I'm we, just, we, would, we would work with your office person at that site and to let them know, keep them in, the, in understanding when we're going to cut that water off. Okay, thank you. Donna, just out of curiosity, what's the name of that property? It's Rockland at Samuels. What's your address okay. for that property? 632 Samuels Avenue. Okay. Okay. Those are all the questions in chat. Does anybody else have questions for Leon? Do we have anybody on here from DFW Inc? I don't think they're on the call. Okay. 
Kent Bogle, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I do not. And, okay. But thank you. And you're welcome. I think that's uh, answered everything I was wondering about. And like Leon said, we will come back um, prior to construction beginning and have a second a second meeting because things can change between here and then. Um, so we will have more information at that time about the timeline. Uh, if you have any questions, just email us and we'll get those answered for you as quickly as we can. Thank you. Thank, Thank, everyone. You, everybody. Thank you everybody for coming out to the WebEx meeting. And just send any email, you know, like Sally mentioned, just email any questions you may have if you think of some after the meeting. Sounds great. All right, Sally, I think Thanks we can everybody. close Have the a meeting. good night. You Thank too. You. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Sally. Thank you.